Good morning, this is Mayayo speaking for trailrunningspain.com with uh, yet another product presentation. Um, this is the new Suunto Ambit 3 Vertical introduced uh, January 7th, 2016 as a new addition to the already broad enough uh, Ambit 3 family from the uh, Finnish company Suunto. Uh, basically speaking, uh, Suunto wants to deliver a new uh, GPS watch which uh, delivers for multi-sport athletes who want the most accurate data for vertical trainings uh, as well as guidance to progress toward their goals. Now, as compared to the top of the line uh, brother, this is the Ambit 3 Peak watch as you may see over there. You see there's been a number of differences in the general design Okay, it's a, um, well, more thinner, um, lighter, uh, let's say 94 grams versus 74 grams. Uh, also, the external antenna has been built inside, uh, which uh, allows for a more practical, uh, uh, you know, wrist. Uh, however, um, it has uh, also involved a very, very slight lack of uh, preciseness when uh, telling. Let's say that um, uh, if you allow for the full battery to go on on a static position, um, the Ambit 3 peak will only move, let's say, for um, 600 meter, 800 meter, whereas the um, uh, vertical would move around uh, double as much, which is 1.6 kilometers. Uh, However, this is a still a very, very consistent and precise data versus rivals such as the Garmin Forerunner 920 XT, which will move for 4.8 kilometers, which is three times as much as this one. Um, so uh, it will have, um, it's lighter, uh, easier to wear, uh, also cheaper, but the main drawback, it has half the battery life of the sturdy and reliable Ambit 3 uh, peak. However, it is uh, it does have a number of new built-in functions for um, vertical training, which also uh, are a, a, a positive point for it. On the other hand, uh, its rival from Garmin is most probably the Garmin uh, Forerunner 920 XT. Here we've got it, uh, which is uh, uh, yet lighter than the, the vertical. It's uh, 44 grams versus 74 grams, uh, thinner, and uh, arguably uh, even easier to, to wear. On the other hand, the look is uh, blatantly on the favor of the Suunto if you want to use it as your everyday watch, and you don't want to let everybody in the street or in the office know that you are an uh, athlete into endurance sports, uh, call it uh, trail running, ultra running, or triathlon. Now, Moving further in detail about the, the new vertical, the retail price will be logically enough in between uh, his, uh, the brothers. Uh, basically, let's say we've got, with the positioning, we've got two sets of Suunto uh, GPS watches. Basically, those uh, dedicated to adventure and discovery users, which are the Travers and the Core, and those dedicated to uh, improving performance, which has, as mentioned before, the Ambi3 peak at the top of the line in terms of battery life and um, reliability. And then right below the vertical, below the vertical with the same battery life, the sport. Now, if we go into detail as to um, the menus, well, first of all, if you want to configure it, this is the in-between button in the center. You go to power, personal data, general connectivity, altitude. Now, first, as for pairing, you know, we, I'll just give a brief overview. You may pair it with a number of uh, accessories, very large number, to be honest, you know. Uh, and soon enough, it will come with power. Yes, for those cyclists out there that you've been talking about watts for years, now runners can also brag about the very large watts they can uh, power. Uh, at the bar. Uh, it will come soon uh, with a, a joint co-marketing with Stride, uh, but still not here. So we will let you know as soon as it arrives. Now back again, 
other options as for connectivity uh, it uh, delivers around the general say with the mobile app which many of you are uh, already used to and uh, in terms of personal of course you may you must introduce your personal profile for the uh, performance measurement to be accurate obviously no surprises here either and uh, it's in the altitude menu and delivery where we're going to be uh, seeing later the most differences and in navigation so let's uh, go back again to the main menu now when we are choosing you know what uh, displays to present we may present uh, plenty of displays here in my recommendation would be of course the general watch then um, the weekly ascent this is very important you know day by day the total ascent in this case at 1000 meters in this week uh, the total week activity in terms of what we have you know achieved in terms of calorie uh, expenditure and then back again now if we want to go into the uh, performance menu we've got navigation recovery exercise logbook and displays these are the displays I was mentioning to you before where but navigation is the most interesting new you know display here because uh, of course we may use the usual build up navigation routes but the most interesting is we load routes for moves count once they are loaded in this case I have put two road two routes here um, we can either navigate them or view them I'll just view them for your ease so in viewing it we've got two general views one with a two kilometer scale an overview of the map of the route and the second one would be with the profile now the beauty of the system is that once we start navigating we will have three different displays we will have uh, in these two displays as seen before here we will have the arrow pointing where in the exact point in the route we are and here we will have an ongoing black and white uh, graph as to what part of the profile we are exactly into now that's a beauty for those of you who are into trail running or ultra trail running so you may be easily uh, in control of exactly where and how you are now uh, and the third display that we will see when navigating is a zoom in built down to 100 meters so we can accurately keep ourselves on track as we are progressing um, as for other general data on performance we're moving out 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 uh, just to point out you know we do have you know a lock we also have you know we unlock lock and unlock no surprises here okay and in other performance menus which are of uh, special interest well you have navigation recovery recovery you are mb3 users will be used to it uh, but this is a new function that has been uh, built in in the latest um, firmware um, update which is the quick test and the sleep test uh, works together with your um, heart rate band and uh, delivers in three minutes you know a calibration uh, so you put on your headband your belt and relax for three minutes and depending on your base uh, heart rate as compared to your current heart rate you know when relaxed for three minutes the vertical will deliver you know the level that you have been going through so obviously I'm not wearing it at the moment so out and last but not least let us all remember that uh, all the mb3 family is heavily dependent upon the moves count application uh, which can be used either in your smartphone or your PC it does work with any of them uh, <clears throat> the smartphone allows for a quick review these are my data my general data uh, my profile and all my moves and if I want to take one move for example that I've been uh, when testing this you know okay here we go so menu okay you may build in pictures as well as you see here 
the summary of the data, 16.4, average, blah, 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 blah. And you may also check out more pictures, uh, build your beautiful Suunto movie, as uh, we all know, check the map, the prof, and a few uh, variables. Remember, uh, the iPhone um, <clears throat> application is smoother than the Android, um, but both work pretty well these days. However, the PC, the laptop application, is of course far more powerful. So, to end up our uh, initial presentation, just to let you know that you will have further info at trailrunningspain.com uh, plus full uh, comparison versus uh, its main rivals. And I hope that with this presentation you have got quite an idea of this new addition to the Ambit 3 family, uh, which, as I said, is a uh, second, uh, let's say, in the ladder, right below the Ambit 3 peak and slightly ahead of the uh, Ambit 3 Sport. It does have basically the same battery of the Ambit 3 Sport, which means 10 hours with one second, 15 hours with five seconds, and 100 hours with one minute data. However, it has a big, big improvement versus the Ambit 3 Sport, which is that um, this uh, uh, new vertical does have altimeter based on barometric data, which means that it can be far more reliable when testing um, uh, the altitude because it uh, will deliver more accurate uh, data than the GPS system alone. Therefore, if you uh, choose to save battery by moving, uh, switching to the five second move, uh, you will be far better off uh, than in other than if you do that with the sport. So for those of you who plan to run for uh, 10, 12, 15 hours, switching to the five second data set will be nice. Uh, you will not be losing a uh, reliable, uh, you know, uh, any sizable portion of your game. However, if you choose to do, for example, uh, Ultra Trail Mont Blanc and you move out to once uh, one minute data, you will be losing usually between 10 and 15 percent of the total length of the route. Let's say that instead of bragging to your friends with the moves come data on how you perform the 100 miles, you will be, met, you will be left with uh, 90 miles recorded. Uh, however, as I said, if you are one of those athletes that want to seriously track their performance and improve it and uh, are very much into up and downs than snaps, either schema or cycling or trail running. Now, this might be a most convenient watch for you. Uh, strongest points, as usual in Suunto, consistency of the data and the GPS signal, uh, sturdy, reliable watch, and uh, for most of us, the looks, uh, which allow it to be used as an everyday watch. Thanks for your interest, and see you more at uh, trailrunningspain.com in English or carrerasdemontana.com in Spanish. See you in the mountains. Bye.